Hello everybody, I'm Kat, and I'm going to be sharing some of my unpopular bookish opinions with you all today. This tag is of course a very popular one here on booktube, and I figured, you know what, I haven't done this tag yet, I do have quite a few unpopular opinions, so without further ado, let's just get into the tag. Question 1. A popular book or series that you didn't like? Now, I thought about this one because recently there have been quite a few popular reads that I wasn't a big fan of, but I finally decided on the book that I hate the most that's really well loved here on booktube. If this book is one of your favorite books, I'm really happy and glad that you enjoyed it. It just wasn't for me. And this book is The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. I like need to not keep this a rant video. If you don't know, The Book Thief is this historical fiction novel following this girl around the age of 12, I want to say, during World War II. And these are the issues I had with this book. The writing style. I was not a fan of the writing style, like at all. One of the things that really bugged me was the fact that people say it's from death's point of view when it's not. Death only narrates a couple of chapters every now and then, but the majority of the book is just your standard third person point of view. It's not narrated by death at all, except for a couple of chapters. And death cannot describe to save their life, which I mean they're dead, so it makes a lot of sense. But literally every time death had to describe anything, it was literally a color. It sounded like listening to colors by Halsey. Everything was blue. Everything was red. Everything was gray. Like, what the heck? These are colors, not descriptions. Probably the last issue I have with this book is that I did not care about any of the characters in this book. I hated every single one of them. Honestly, my favorite part of the book was at the very end where everyone starts crying. I was screaming, yes, finally, because I hated everything about this book. Now, I'm sorry if this book is your favorite book, but you know, it just wasn't for me. Question two, a popular book that everybody hates but you love. This was another one that I had to think long and hard about. Thinking of this answer took a while, but finally I went with Caraval by Stephanie Garber. So many people I know don't like this book and I love this book. It was one of my favorites of 2017 and I'm so excited for the sequel to come out. If you don't know, this book takes place at this like interactive carnival and we follow two sisters, one named Scarlet, the other named Tella, and they both get invited to Caraval, which is the interactive carnival. The night before Caraval starts, Tella gets taken and the goal of Caraval this year is whoever can find Tella gets granted one wish and they can wish for anything. So now Scarlet is against all these other people to find Tella. I genuinely loved this book. I loved Stephanie's writing style. I loved the world. Like, it was so atmospheric. I really loved some of the magical aspects of the novel, like how Scarlet's dress would change depending on her mood. I just loved this book so much, but so many people I know don't like it at all. And I'm over here like, don't talk to me or my son ever again. I genuinely love this book so much. It's okay that I love this book and other people don't like it. Question three is a love triangle where the main character ended up with the wrong person. I'm gonna have to go with the love triangle in the summer I turned pretty, specifically just in this first book. I did not like who she ended up with at the end of this book because I thought that she honestly deserved better. Question four is a popular book genre that you hardly reach for and I have to go with sci-fi. I like never read sci-fi but when I do, I really enjoy it. I just never pick up the genre and it's not like it's a bad genre because I really enjoy it when I read it. I just never gravitate towards it. Question five is a popular character that everyone loves but you don't. So I have two for this one. The first one is Sebastian Verlach from the Mortal Instruments series. I don't get all the hype around him. He's awful. I don't know why people love him so much but I genuinely just don't like him. And the second one which is definitely more controversial is Triss from the Divergent Trilogy. Let's just say Allegiant was my favorite book in the series for a reason. Question six is a popular author you can't seem to get into, and I, once again, have two for this one. The first one is Casey West. I've read three of Casey West's books. One of them I actually really enjoyed, but the other two I didn't like as much, and I've just never been in the group of people that absolutely love Casey West. I'm gonna read some of her other books that people enjoy, and if I really enjoy those, then maybe I'll read the rest. And the the 
second one is Sarah Dessen. I've read one of her books and tried reading another one and I just can't get into it. I think it has something to do with her writing style or maybe it's the characters, but I read Once and For All like a year ago and I did not like that book at all. It was one of my least favorite books of 2017 and I actually tried reading, I think it's The Truth About Forever. I think that was the one I tried reading and I could barely get past page two. Like I just couldn't stand it and I'm not quite sure why. I really want to like her books because I'm a huge fan of YA Contemporary and she was like the queen of YA Contemporary years and years ago so I was hoping that I would really like her books but I just don't and that kind of makes me sad. Question 8 is a popular booker series that you don't want to read at all whatsoever. You know I had to think about this one quite a bit because I really want to read you know the books on my shelves of course. I'm really interested in reading them because I invested and bought them but I had to go with The Bane Chronicles which is a short story anthology following Magnus Bain and it's written by Cassandra Clare and a bunch of other authors and I've just heard so many mixed things about it, mostly negative things, so I'm not gonna even bother reading it. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore him. He's one of my favorite Cassandra Clare characters, but if people aren't liking his short story anthology, then I'm just not gonna even bother picking it up. And lastly, we all know that the book is always better than the movie. Name an adaptation that you like more than the book. And I really had to think about this. So this one's probably really controversial and I'm sorry. It's definitely gonna have to go with the Divergent movies. I was never a fan of the Divergent books. Like I'm pretty sure I gave the entire series like three out of five stars. That was at a time when I would literally give every book I read five stars just because. So the fact that I gave it three stars then, I would probably give this book like one star now, honestly. I did not like Triss, as I mentioned before. I didn't like The World. It it was so much easier just watching them as movies because you didn't have to sit through this hugely dense book. I know this is controversial because this series is so well loved here on booktube but I was just never really a fan of it from the start and so watching the movies I immediately was like I enjoy watching this much more than physically reading it. I actually had to skim through Insurgent because I just wanted to get through it. So that is it for this tag video. I'm sorry if I like low-key trashed your favorite book. They just didn't work with me, but I'm really glad that they worked with you. Let me know down below some of your bookish and popular opinions. Like what's a book that you love that everyone hates and what's a book you hate that everyone loves? Because we all have different opinions and in the end that's okay because you like what you like and you don't like what you don't like. I'll leave the link to the original tag video down below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post videos every Thursday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!